Hello everybody. Today what we'll be show you is the new feature of the STL VL. The STVL first of all comes with your choice of mask. You can have it like we have in this example a Space uh, Predator or you can order it with the Space Raptor or you can order it with the Simple Space. Whichever way you choose to order this, uh, the mask will come already pre-assembled. Therefore, out of its container you will exactly find the mask uh, with everything attached. Therefore, you will have the visor light. You will have the shield display features, which we'll explain in details later, but one is for depth and one is for your gas supply. And uh, your six and four pin connectors. Along with the mask and all everything assembled, you will also obviously have the battery pack with the connectors which need to be attached to the mask. You will have a high pressure hose and the battery charger. Okay, when uh, you receive everything, we advise you to obviously before going on your first dive that you make sure that everything works right out of the box. To do this, uh, we'll give you a quick uh, rundown. And uh, what we advise you first of all, obviously, is uh, to make sure that the battery is charged. In case the battery is not charged, or to make sure that it is charged, what we do is simply unscrew the battery pack. You see we have the jack right here, this is your battery pack. We have a double o-ring, so just make sure that when you do your normal maintenance that it's lubricated. You grab your battery charger. Once you plug in the battery charger, you will notice that the, it is a yellow and red light flashing. That simply tells you that it is not attached to your battery pack. Once you attach it to your battery pack, all you have to do is put the jack in the slot. You will notice now that it quits flashing from yellow to red. And this indicates to you right now that the battery needs charging. Once the battery is completely charged, you will only notice that the only the green light is on. Therefore, at the, when this red light becomes yellow, it's almost charged. When it shuts off, you know that it's fully charged. When you really use this hose and you attach it to your first stage, we strongly recommend that you have the hose, first of all, attached to the high pressure port of your first stage. And only then, attach it to the battery pack. Right now, since we do not have a tank, we will put this aside. Then, you connect the battery pack to the mask. You have noticed that you have one which has three pins, therefore this is called a six pin plug. And then you have another one with two pins, this is known as a four pin plug. Obviously, you match three with three, and two with two. You do not necessarily have to make them touch flash. This is good enough. Therefore, there could be a slight gap between the two contacts. Obviously, this unit activates automatically once you're underwater. To simulate that we have underwater, we have two wet contacts here. All you do, obviously, is wet them and you turn on your lights. If you notice, uh, the lights are turning on. The lights that are on the left represents the gas supply. Obviously we have a red lead flashing because there is not hooked up to the tank, so therefore it's telling us that there is no gas. This side we have the depth gauge which is blue. Here we have blue LEDs, yellow LEDs and red LEDs. In a while these blue lights will shut off now because obviously we're not diving, so you'll just have them turned on to see that all the LEDs work, afterwards they will shut off. You may dim the lights, uh, and we'll see this in detail on the water later on. You may dim the lights uh, or shut them completely off uh, by pressing this button right here. However, if during the dive you had shut off your lights and dimmed them real low, if you pass the 40 meter mark, uh, or which is 130 feet, or you go below the 50 bar, which is 725 psi, uh, 
Your warning lights, the four for depth and gas, will turn on to advise you that you have passed the safety features. Another feature, obviously, that the uh, SD uh, VL has uh, is the visor light. Again, to make sure that your visor lights work, all we have to do is make sure that we wet the contacts. The switch at this point to turn on the contacts is this one on the side. And you notice that the lights are turned on. To shut them off, all you have to do is press it again. At this point, again, to turn on the lights, all you have to do is press the side button. Verify that all the LEDs work, and if you need to shut them off again, just press it one more time. At this point, we have done our pre-dive check, and we're ready to take the unit on an enjoyable dive.